right, thanks for joining us today. This is Mike Mahana with uh, Terillium. I'm the NetSuite practice leader here, and today I'm uh, joined by Robert Chambliss, who is our lead technical consultant. So Robert does a lot of um, our integrations, a lot of our technical work with um, scripts and workflows. And, and, and Robert, one of the things that we see a lot with customers, um, existing NetSuite customers, and then prospects that are looking at NetSuite is, the need to connect NetSuite to one of their other systems. And so there are um, off the shelf options, great ones like uh, tool like Soligo, um, and then there are custom options. And so looking at what you have on available on the screen here, uh, Soligo, maybe you can walk through some of the key features of this integration. Uh, sure, sure. <clears throat> so I've um, created a little flow here. As you, this is the uh, back end of Soligo, which is called Integrator IO. Um, created a uh, Shopify to uh, NetSuite instance that kind of just uh, collects data from a customer, I mean, sorry, collects customer data from uh, Shopify and then uploads as a customer record in NetSuite. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do in Nets, um, in Soligo's back end as far as with the data. As you see here, um, you're able to transform data that, um, you know, before you want to uh, process that information going into NetSuite. You're also able to filter out any type of information. So um, if there's certain information you don't or do want that gets uploaded, you're able to do that uh, coming out of Shopify. You're also able to do that going into the, uh, the destination here as well. Um, as you see here, this is kind of a, an import map. It shows you how, how easy it is to um, map fields um, from Shopify itself. It pulls the, the data from Shopify and also uh, the data, um, the mapping from NetSuite itself. Um, you're able to hard code data as well, like I've hard coded um, a primary subsidiary um, uh, that, that comes up from NetSuite itself. And when it gets uploaded, every customer would actually be assigned to this one subsidiary. Yeah, I think the thing I like about that is, you know, it's not a lot of uh, technical coding. I know that you're obviously technical, but for someone like myself, it, it's pretty easy to understand what's being converted from Shopify to to NetSuite. And so I think that just that UI uh, or that interface is very helpful. Nice. Yeah, also um, <clears throat> another thing to touch up on is below here, um, you've got a little dashboard section so you can kind of see how the flow or just kind of see where it's at in 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 due time um, as you see here uh, this is the last update that um i ran and in this in this particular flow it actually adds customers and updates and so technically i've got four customers within shopify and as you see here so it's looking for any type of updates that i've done in shopify and that's why you see the success of four and as you see here, you'll see a success of three here. All right. And you've got um, other features where um, if there was any type of issues, like I, I tried to do something um, here testing and it actually, it failed. So I, um, you can mark as resolved once it's complete. And I mark this one as resolved because as you see the uh, flows is completed there. Um, when this happened here, I actually got an error and this showed as one i'm able to view that error and kind of view the data like what what happened um so legal will also tell you kind of you know what that error is so you can go back and change that um and then you see here this has been resolved um it's kind of you know just kind of quick uh, snaps of of what you can see inside of uh, the the uh integrator yeah, you, you can see the the value that a tool like Soligo brings to it, not only in just, hey, what what are the pieces of data I want to connect, but once it's connected, how how well is it performing and then when do I have problems? So it, it's it's a very powerful tool and, and uh, we know that a lot of customers do like it, um, but there is a, another alternative and it's more of using the standard NetSuite API functionality. And, and maybe kind of talk about how somebody could potentially do that. Yeah, no problem. Like if you um, you have like a um, um, department who's got um, some some software engineers or whatnot, um, they're able to tie into that um, into NetSuite using an API, so you can get more of custom 
uh, type application, something like it's homegrown that you want to uh, pass information into into NetSuite. Um, and you're able to actually test and create URLs through um, uh, uh, a piece of software called Postman. I'm going to click that on here. And as Postman's coming up, as you see on the left-hand side here, I've got a, um, a list of uh, APIs that, that are kind of pre-made that NetSuite um, has out there for you. Um, you're able to uh, you're able to like create records, take a look at sub lists, sub records, or you can query information. Um, also, NetSuite kind of gives you a um, environment. Um, that you can um, when you put all your uh, your your token and also your customer ID that um, from the integration that you create within in uh, NetSuite. Yeah, it you know I think um, you know for those companies or those organizations that do have a, a custom system and and have technical resources, I think you know a tool like this is is very powerful to to get that set up. Um, but it is something that you know if if you're uncomfortable with it as an organization, it certainly could uh, leverage Trillium's resources, um, and we could certainly have Robert even play a role in that for you guys. So um, yeah, I appreciate the time, Robert. I think it's one of those things that uh, for companies that are looking at a solution like NetSpeed or have it and want to connect to a third-party system, there's uh, you know two main ways: either kind of the uh, pre-existing tool like Soligo, which is a very powerful one. Um, or using your own custom, uh, using some of the NetSuite API functionality. So um, thanks everyone for taking a look at this today and uh, you have a great day. Take care.